Thankfully, the Horizon ceiling fan with RGB lights is here to save the day. So straight out of the box, of course you have that, wow, it is quite lightweight. I think this is only 7.7 .7 pounds, wow. So you don't have to worry about your ceiling bracket able to handle it that much weight. It's only if it's over 20 pounds and you have to worry about the ceiling joist. And also you have instructions manual. I'm going to walk you guys through the installation steps. You got remote control, real cool remote control. Oh, by the way, there are four versions. I decided to go with the white color with Alexa capability. And I think this is the only model that has RGB lights. You have all the mounting hardware that's required, you know, connectors, screws, wire caps, even the remote stand, and they even threw in two AAA batteries. All right, so the dimension of this fan is 20 inches by 6.3 inches from the top to the bottom. So it's very, quite compact. So, as you can see right here, this is the white color. Now the lampshade itself is made of acrylic material. The fan blade is made of, and it's eight fan blades made of polystyrene material. And the frame itself is made of a combination of ABS plastic and polypropylene, right? So you see that white color, it blends in well, I think with the ceiling and my wall color. And here is the mounting bracket. Okay, so you have the simple, um, oh, they color the different, <laughs> it's brown and blue, but they label the L and N. And here is the mounting bracket, which goes into your uh, junction box. Get screwed on like that. So actually L means live, and it's typically black or red color. N means neutral, and that's white. So keep that in mind. The first step is to remove this mounting bracket. I believe I rotate it, there we go, counterclockwise. So I need to, and also remove the safety clip, okay? I think that's to help with um, installation. If you only do it by yourself, you don't have to support the weight with the other hand. Okay, remove that. And this is what we're gonna assemble first, is this mounting bracket that goes on the ceiling junction box. So on the upside, it's the ring of RGB lights. Oh yeah, and also there is the ground wire. And that's the model number and some power and electrical information. My first step before attempting electrical work is to re turn off the main breaker or the switch to the room. Always good to confirm on the wall switch because depending on the builder, they can mark the breaker box different or wire, electrical wiring different. My first step is to remove the old ceiling light. This one's very easy. You simply unscrew the vertical mounting screw and this will come off easily. See? So before I disconnect the wires, make note of there are two whites and two bucks coming from the house because it's connected to the other light right there. It's in series. So I'll be hooking up similar. Sorry, a correction. There's only one white, one black, and one ground. It's the light itself that had two white and two black. So now I'm mounting the ceiling fan bracket to the junction box on these two holes on this slot because it's adjustable and make sure it's centered you know the concentric circles otherwise you won't be offset another important thing to remember is this is facing down because you have that safety wire clamp see so don't get the directions wrong my next step is to attach a safety wire, and this is to prove that it can support the weight. And now I'm gonna do the actual wiring. All right, I have the ground to the ground, neutral, 
which is white to the neutral and live which is black to the black my wire caps are on electrical tape is added bonus now i'm gonna fit this casing onto the bracket rotating clockwise okay i have it on tight it clicked now i can't rotate anymore and now i'm gonna insert the safety screw the short screw into here safety screw is in now for the moment of truth Please work. <gasps> yes! I was scared there for a second. So let me turn this off and go through all of the features of the remote. I'm so happy right now. Installation was very simple. This is the easiest installation of a ceiling fan I've ever encountered. There are a lot of things to cover with this remote. Without further ado, let's get started. On button. And I believe it remembers the last setting. Okay, so as we can see, the fan is on. I'm going to simply press stop. That stops it. So what you're looking at now is a combination of the RGB light and the regular light on. And let's go ahead and turn the light off. That applies to the, the round light and the RGB. Turn that off. Okay. So we're going to turn that back on. Now moving on to the light color. You're going to simply hold it down. See, it switches the color from like natural, bright, from bright warm to neutral color. Um, and also here is to adjust the brightness. That's as dim as right there. Okay. And for quicker access, this is the light mode switch. You can adjust the, see, instant color temperature. So a whole wide variety. And this is for the night mode, and this is for the RGB scenario. See, make sure you get at an angle. So it's like green, blue, yellow. I forgot how many, like seven or eight. So let me go ahead and turn off this light so you can see better with the RGB lights, see? All right, let's get to the fan function. It's my favorite. So I'm going to hit the stop. It turns it on. So here I have it on the summer mode, which pushes air out. And the winter mode is suck air in. So right now, see how it's blowing? Yeah, by the way, the fan has six beads. Okay. So in order to activate the, the two modes, you have this press it, it automatically stops, and then it will switch over. Because it can't just, in the, you know, in the instant, just switch fans. So now, when I hit the fan button, it's going to turn on the, see how that counter clockwise or counterclockwise, it switches orientation, see? It's not blowing, it's sucking in air now. How cool is that? By the way, there are six settings, so let me go through the settings. Okay, I believe that's the lowest. All right, so that's one, two, three. Don't forget, it's sucking in the air right now. Four. So it shakes a little bit higher speed, five. Well, actually, not in all speed. Maybe just during the switching mode. Let's switch over to the highest fan mode, which is summer mode. That is a cool breeze. And it's not noisy at all, too. Lastly, you have the two and four hour timer. It takes a little while to get used to the remote. Now, let's cover the app control. Oh, by the way, this is compatible with Alexa. Unfortunately, I don't have Alexa, but it is compatible with that. So I downloaded the app. It's called Tuya Smart. Now you create your account or sign up. Okay, once you enter the account, it's going to ask for permission. Just turn on the Bluetooth. So in order to pair, make sure your fan is already on. And the light switch is on. 
Now I'm going to flip the switch on off continuously for three times. Hopefully I will see the light flash on or breathe on the fan. One, two, three. Oh, okay. It's flashing now. It's in parry mode. I automatically detected with my Bluetooth on. Yes, that's a smart fan. Let's go ahead and add that. And then I'm going to add my Wi-Fi password. It's being added. See how that no longer blinks? It's being connecting right now. Hey, added successfully. Good. Done. Now I can finally use the app. There you have it. So to note, it's very important that you choose a 2.4 gigahertz instead of 5 gigahertz, otherwise you come into issues. All right, so let's go ahead and cover the basics. You know, you have a typical rainbow scheme right here that you change at the touch of a button. Oh, you can turn it off and on. Oh, cool app, by the way. And what's this right here? Is this for the... Oh, this is for the intensity, I, I think. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. All right. So that was the uh, RGB. Now it's for the light intensity, the ring light. This is cool. Oh, here is the fan. I was looking for that. You can choose a direction. Let's go ahead and uh, start. Oh wait, that's a countdown timer. My bad. There you go. He had to initiate it first. Ah, that's cool. You can set the speed too. Ooh! I like that. I like this. And the timer. Um, you can schedule it too. Wow. This is truly, you can turn off the beep. This is freaking amazing. I love this app. Oh my goodness, guys. I am totally wowed by the app and the remote control. It is so useful. You could configure it to any speed, lighting, mood, color. Whatever your mood is for that day, you can set it to whatever you want it. It's going to brighten your day, definitely. Installation was easy. Lately, I've been installing a lot of uh, lights and stuff, and I ran into a lot of problems, but this one was super easy. As you can see, the fan is quiet, and I love the two options of summer and winter mode. It's perfect for all year round cooling or air circulation. It fits perfectly in my gym. Now I can exercise in style and cooling myself down, especially hitting those PRs and important sets. So if you're looking for a, an awesome, cool looking ceiling fan with RGB lights, definitely give the Orion brand a try.